Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand about one of the important question related to your process states. So we have the many process states. We know that we have the ready state, running state, waiting state, and there are many other states also. Okay. So let's see what is the question and how we can solve that question. The question is, we have a computer system which has N processors, N CPUs, and we have total M number of processes in that particular computer system. Okay. Then we have to tell how many minimum and the maximum processes which can be present inside the ready queue, running state, and the waiting state at a particular point of time. Okay. And there is an assumption that is ready queue, waiting queue is of infinite length. Okay. So basically, this is the table and here we have to make the entries. Okay. That is what is the minimum number of processes which can be present inside ready queue. Same as what is the maximum number of processes that can be present inside the ready queue. And same thing we have to fill for the running and the waiting state. Okay. So let's see how we can solve this question. So we have seen that we have these number of process states. Okay. We have the new, ready, running, terminated and the waiting state. There is suspend state also, but that is not needed for our example. So we have not shown that. Okay. So we already know that we have many process which are residing inside our main memory. Okay. So this is our main memory and these are the PCBs, process control block or the other name is task control block. So this is the PCB of P1 and PCB of P2. Okay. So there can be many other process also P3, P4 and so on. Okay. So here we have seen that this PCB, okay, the collection of PCBs, which can be uh, represented in form of link list or any other data structure, those forms actually the ready queue. So ready queue is this one. Okay. Ready queue consists of the PCBs of the various process that we know. So that means this ready queue is present inside your main memory. Okay. So there can be many processes, let's say P1, P2, and so on. This can be inside the ready queue. Right. Now, let's say if we have only one CPU, okay, only one CPU. Okay. So then how many maximum number of processes can be executed on that particular CPU? So at a time only one process can be executed on that particular CPU. Right. Okay. Now this waiting state, this waiting state can also be represented in form of queue. Okay. So there can be many processes which will be present inside this waiting queue. Okay. And they will be waiting for a particular device. For example, there is let's say a printer. Okay. And for printer, there are many processes, let's say P4, P5 and so on. They will be waiting for the printer to access it and use its services. Right. So waiting states uh, can be also represented by a waiting queue where many processes are residing. Now, we have to tell that what is the minimum number of processes or the maximum number of processes that can be in the ready queue, right? Now we are given in this question that we are having n CPUs and m processes. Okay, so in the ready state, processes will be there. So how many maximum number of processes can be there in through the ready queue? The total m processes can be the maximum number of uh, processes that can be in the ready queue. Okay, that means all the processes they have come inside this ready queue, right? So in the ready queue, maximum number of processes can be M. And what is the minimum number of processes which can come inside this ready queue? So there can be zero, zero number of processes. That means there is no process which is present inside the ready queue. Okay. So this is done. And here one assumption we are uh, making that there are no background processes running. Okay. Do not assume that we are taking into consideration about the background processes and all. Okay. We are just talking about these processes. Okay. M processes. You can talk about like these are the user processes. Okay. There is no system programs and everything. They are not running. Right. Now let's come to the running state. So running state is associated with the CPU. That is whenever the process is executing on the CPU, we say that particular process is in the running state. Now let's say we have n equal to 1, okay, this n equal to 1 CPU only. Then how many maximum processes can be executed on that particular CPU at a point of time? We will say only 1, 
okay only one process can be present on that particular cpu okay because one cpu only one process can execute on that okay so for n equal to one we have only one process now let's say if we have more than one cpu let's say cpu number two okay then we can say let's say we can have two processes that can be executed one on this cpu one and one on the cpu two they can be executed and so on okay now let's say we have cpu n okay that is we have n number of cpus which are given in the question now we have to decide how many maximum processes can be executed on this n cpus so with the same analogy we can say ki there can be total n processes which can execute on this n cpus one on this cpu one on this cpu and so on one on this cpu so we can say we will have n as the answer but actually uh, this cannot be the right answer for this question why because it depends on how many processes they are present inside the ready state okay this answer okay this answer that is how many maximum process can be on the uh, n cpus it depends on the value of the m so what does it mean it means whether m is equal to n whether m is greater than n or m is less than n it depends on these conditions why it is because let's say we have n equal to 4 cpu right we have n equal to 4 cpu let's say we have m equal to 4 that is total m processes that is total 4 processes they can be in the ready queue maximum and we have the 4 cpus then all the 4 processes from this ready queue they can come to the each of these 4 cpus right so in that case your answer will be 4 that is n equal to 4 maximum process can be there right so in this case your answer will be something like n okay that is n cpus n process now let's say m is greater than n what does it mean the value of m is let's say 5 okay and n is 4 then how many maximum process can come on 4 cpus you will say only 4 because one cpu can take over only one process so 4 cpus that means 4 processes can be there only for on the 4 cpus right although we have 5 total number of processes which are waiting inside this ready queue but 4 can be present on those 4 cpus so in that case m is greater than n then the answer will depend on the n that is number of cpu right now let's say m is less than n so what does it mean so let's say we have four cpus but value of m is let's say three okay that is maximum processes that can be present at a time in the ready queue they are only three but we have more number of cpus so now you will say that only three maximum number of processes which can be executed on these cpus that means let's say we have this cpu process number one process number two is here and let's say we have the cpu number three okay and this is cpu number four so on this cpu number three let's say the next process can be there okay but one cpu will remain idle okay because we have less number of processes in the ready queue only three cpus will be involved in the execution okay so here the answer is depending on the m so here the general answer will be m, m number of processes can be executed on the these cpus okay one will be idle so your answer is depending on whether m is less than n greater than n or equal to n okay so this will be the correct answer here okay this will not be the <coughs> correct answer for this question right okay so this answer has come here now what is the minimum number of processes which can be present on these uh, total n cpus you will say zero and how we can have the zero because let's say the value of m is zero in that case all the cpus will remain idle no process will be there who can execute on these n cpus right so in that case there will be total zero processes okay minimum zero process can be in the running state right now let's come to the waiting state again it is easy as we have seen in the ready queue also so waiting state or the process waits in a waiting queue okay so they are waiting for the io device okay for example so here as we have seen 
that waiting queue is of infinite length, right? So maximum how many processes can be inside this waiting queue? So maximum, it depends on how many processes we have present inside our computer system. The total M processes, they are present inside our computer system. So it can happen that all the M processes, okay, all the processes who were present inside this ready state, they come to the running state and now they all come to the waiting state. So all M processes, they are waiting for the particular device. Okay, so maximum there can be total M processes which can reside inside this waiting queue. Okay, and what is the minimum number of processes that can be waiting inside this waiting queue? It can be like zero. Okay, at some particular point of time, there can be zero because all the processes they can be in the running state. Okay, and the second uh, judgment or the second answer why we are seeing this zero, it is because there can be like no processes okay the value of m can be zero okay if m is zero then that means in the waiting queue also no process will be present okay so minimum number of process in the waiting queue can be zero so this was the solution for this question i hope you have understood it so if you have any question comment query please write down into the comment box and please like and share this video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification see you in the next video with new question till then goodbye